Hello everyone, welcome to IP Plus Academy for Civil Services and I welcome you all to the learning series via News in Focus. Today's topic of discussion is Committee of Privilege. Why I am making a discussion to this topic? So during the recently concluded monsoon session, Rajya Sabha chairman has taken the cognizance of the part of privilege because some member has pointed out that the name were recommended without their consent, right? So there are other details that you need to know from examination perspective, be it as prelims or means. This is something that will help you to understand the part of the nuances when it comes to the committee of privilege. So without any further ado, let's get started. So just to give you the background, the recently Rajya Sabha chairman directed the Rajya Sabha privilege committee to investigate the complaint that were filed by the MP. There were four number of total MPs who accused another members of proposing their name for the house panel without their consent in violation of the rule. So, I mean, if you see the part of the privilege in detail and the rules that is specifically mentioned, there is no part where signature part is mandated. They can make a recommendations of any member of their requirement. It is up to a member. He or she will join that or not. So that was the main point. But definitely this has come to news. So you need to know what are privileges. Then I'll come to the committee of privilege. So what exactly is a parliamentary privilege? Parliamentary privilege are actual the special right. That's also called for the immunities and exemptions enjoyed by the member of parliament of both houses, their committees and their members, right? So these privileges are defined under Article 105 of the Indian Constitution. This is something specifically important for prelims examination. Now, when the constitution was enacted, it provided for the parliament privilege, which would defined by the law made by the parliament. So there was categorically men, part of the things that were mentioned and the, how the things and how the parliament privilege will actually be functioned. The code for civil procedures also protect the member of parliament from arrest, detention under the civil cases during the parliamentary session for a specified period before it begins and after it ends. So these are the part of the personal immunity that is provided to a member of parliament. I think most of you must be aware of the part of individual privilege and the part of collective privilege and immunity that is there. If you have read standard textbook like Lakshmi Kant, you must be aware of this thing. I'm not getting into deep down into the detailed part of the privileges. If you want to read out, you do refer to the standard book of M. Lakshmi Kant, you'll get everything there. Now, Rules governing the privilege, there are some rules in each and every houses. If you talk about the Rajya Sabha, correspondingly rule 187 mentioned in the chapter 16 of the Rajya Sabha rule book deals with the privilege. For Lok Sabha, we have rule 222 in chapter 20 for the Lok Sabha, which governs the part of privilege. The timing for this is notice must be given before 10 a.m. to the speaker or the chairman of the respective house. Now, scope of notice, this notice must be related to the recent incident requiring the intervention of the house. Now, committee of privilege, this is what the main theme of our discussion is. Just wanted to give you the background so that the complete picture is there with you. Now, what is committee of privilege? It's a committee which present for both of the houses. Agar members, ki baat kere, it consists of 15 members in Lok Sabha. That is, in case of Rajya Sabha, there are 10 members which is nominated by speaker and in Rajya Sabha, chairman is one. The committee examine every question which involves the breach of privilege of the house members or any committee therefore referred by house by the chairman or the speaker. Rajya Sabha ki agar baat kere, deputy speaker or chairperson heads the committee of privilege. Now in Lok Sabha, speaker is the one who heads the committee of privilege and nominates the member as per their respective party strength. So this is how they actually functions. Now deputy chairperson of the Rajya Sabha heads the committee in Rajya Sabha, right? So this is the part of the committee of the privilege, which is actually functions. Now I'll give you the brief about the functioning of this committee. So the functions of the committee of privilege is semi-judicial in nature, something important for prelims examination directly. Now, let's examine the part of breach of privilege of the houses and its member recommend for the appropriate actions. Agar baat kare members ki, the member of the house may have consents of the chairman of Rajya Sabha 
or the Speaker of Lok Sabha to raise issue involving the breach of privileges either by the member of the council or a committee thereof. Right. So this is how the action, the issue of privilege is taken into consideration and a due process law is accordingly followed so that each and every member are functioning within a discipline, a decorum and even some immunity that is already there in the parliament rule book shall also be implemented to them. Right. Now, just to give you the basic idea, I mean, breach of privilege matter against Raj Sabha MPs in 2023, some of names, although uh, this might not be relevant for examination purpose, but for your general understanding, Mr. Raghav Chadda, Sanjay Singh, Jairam Ramesh of Indian National Congress, Derek O'Brien, uh, Sanjay Roth and Ranjani Asok Patil, these were some of the names that were listed as a part of breach of privilege in Raj Sabha. They are the name for Lok Sabha, but I mean, I'm not getting into details for that. This is what you are essentially required to know. So this was all about for the given topic. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe FT Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. Do give us a thumbs up for the part of the things that we are coming with. We come with the more informative videos with the relevant topic that is there in the news and specifically important for the examination. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.